a spectacular expression of compassion for people of all creeds and cultures. The Peace Pagoda at Edgbaston in Birmingham is celebrating its 10th anniversary. Now they see a faith primary school as the next natural step. So could this be the shape of things to come? These primary school children aren't Buddhists, but they are on a visit from the Barford School just up the road, finding out what makes a multi-faith community tick. In the role of teacher, one of the trustees here, Robert Black. It's a cause and effect. Karma is if you do good things... Nice things happen. For over 200 years, this city has welcomed wave after wave of newcomers. With the city's Buddhist community now past the 3,000 mark, isn't it the natural time to consider a primary school to teach the tenets of this 2,500-year-old religion? This is a good idea, good thing for everyone. Ashin Gorsaker told me the school would teach children how to respect all people, whatever their creed. He wanted to pay people back for the charitable donations which gave him and his fellow monks their food and shelter. Buddhism uh, teach them to respect to other people. But campaigners, including the Humanist Association, are increasingly uneasy about schools which they say are bound to cater for distinct sections of society. So should the taxpayers in general continue to foot the bill for schools which tend not to teach the religions of the world as a whole, but rather to focus on one particular faith? Segregation or integration? Patrick Burns, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.